So getting into the holiday season and the time of gift giving, it's exciting to learn that you can use beads for more than just jewelry making. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to make a present topper in the form of a pine leaf, which then will hopefully blow up your ideas for things to add as decor and decorations during this gift giving time. So to start this package topper, which can also be a pendant or you can use it as a light pool or really in a ton of different decor, you're going to want to start out with some 8OC beads. You can also do this with 6OC beads. It's just going to put it further apart. But if you want it to be bigger, 6Os and 8OC beads could be used in place of the 8s and the 11s. The first thing I want you to do is put on a stop bead for the project. You can also tape it off if you're not familiar with beading, but you're just going to take your needle through one of the beads and loop around it two times. After that, we're gonna start with our eight OC beads. Now you can see I already have the eight OC beads here and you can make it as long or as short as you want to. I have on here a grouping of 22 of my beads that I've put on some wildfire beading thread along with a size 12 needle. If you don't have these materials at home, you can also just use some sewing string as well as a sewing needle. You just need to make sure that sewing needle at the top is going to go through your seed beads. If you haven't done beading, grab a beading needle. It's gonna be much easier for you. After adding those beads onto the strand here, you're gonna pick up either a split ring or a jump ring, something that does not have a hole in it. You're gonna sew through that ring and then you're gonna sew the whole way back down through all of your beads. As you sew back down through all of your beads, I want you to exit between beads number one and beads number two. You're just gonna pull your needle out there, pull that thread down, and we're gonna get ready to start from the bottom, working our way up, adding in our little pines of our pine needle. So with your thread at the end of the base of the 8OC beads, we're going to begin making our little pine needles here longer and longer. So we're going to start out at the base with just two seed beads and then a third one that is going to work as a stopper for this tiny pine. So this tiny little needle, we're going to skip over that third bead and go back up into those two as well as through the 8OC bead that your thread is currently coming out of. And that's gonna put us up between beads number two and number three. When we progress here between beads two and number three, you guessed it, one, two, three beads go on, and then the fourth bead works as the stop at the bottom. Go back up through those three beads, so this is not rocket science, and we're gonna sew through that next 8 OC bead. Now you can say, whoa, 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 mine looks way fuller. The example looks way fuller than that. That is totally correct. We're gonna work on one side and then we're gonna come back down and degress. So we're increasing going up and we're gonna decrease coming down as we go to the opposite side. And it, it's really fun as you lay it on the package too, you can make sure that those little needles go to one side or the other and that those berries stay to the front. But it's fun to have it kind of be organic and look all over. So now I'm on after three to four beads and then a stop. So one, two, three, four, and then one for a stop. Going back up then, four beads in, and then up to the next. So it's a simple, simple progression. And if you start thinking like, oh, this is getting too long with 20 beads on, you're correct. So I get to a certain point where I stop and I make a couple that are the exact same length. So you're looking about 10 up to stop and just have those be 10, 10, 10, so it doesn't fill out too, too quickly. So as you're building and progressing, you're gonna notice that there's a slight curvature going on in your project. Don't worry about that. As we bring the thread back down, it'll start to increase in size again. You can see here, I've gone in and I've started that nice curve of that nice turn, adding in from two to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna do three at that 10 level before I progress and get a little bit bigger because I want it to be, again, kind of organic looking. So you're gonna do three rows of 10 and then start again to increase to that 11 and so on. So you can see here I've gone up the one side adding in an, a 20 count because remember we repeated 10 three times. And I'm coming out the last bead, I'm just gonna go over the top here 
through that last, that 22nd 8-0, down through the loop of the split ring. Again, a soldered ring, you could attach just something directly. And then I'm gonna go down through those two and start out. Now I know my starting space is 20. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do my 20 seed beads to get the top of that needle there. And I'm gonna progressively work my way down as I go in down right back to the bottom to that spot where we just did two. So again, working our way down from 20, doing the exact same thing after I have my 20 on, I'll sew down into the third 8 and progress the exact same way. Once you get all of your pieces added here, and you can see going back down that I went down and we got all of our little pine needles in place here and see how they're laying nicely along it. You can also see that in this, I kept it short. So 11 was the longest that I went and I went shorter at the top. This one I wanted to go a little bit more bold. So you have the option what you want it to look like. Once you're down to the bottom again, I want you to take off the stop bead. And I have my thread and needle coming out the bottom of that. I'm going to simply tie these two threads together. The thread that's still on my needle and that starter thread. I'll come back then and burn that off. But right now I'm just gonna get a little greenery here at the bottom by pulling in three of my beads for a little pico trim. And then we're gonna slow, sew, excuse me, the whole way back up the line. So you're going back up that middle line. And if you need to, you can pull your needle out wherever it pops out. Pull those beads down there into that little pico trim. Getting three beads with a point at the bead. See how it goes into that nice little triangle. Coming back up here. And I love that this is kind of a reusable, it can be an ornament. Um, somebody can reuse it for their next present. This also looks great on the exterior of a candle. So many options. Almost back up to the top here. And I wanna come out the top to do my berries and add them on from the second between or I'm sorry before the last two beads so I'm at that last row basically that I beaded in between and here's how we're going to add the berries. I'm using eight millimeter melons in this lava color and I'm going to add one seed bead, one of my melons and then just like we did with our 11 0 that holds the end of our pine needle in place we are going to add one 11 0 and so back down through that melon, making sure you're not catching on all, any of your needles. There we have it. Next, I'm gonna add one and two. So I'm coming right out the end of the last one of my berries. I'm adding two seed beads now, so it hangs down a little bit lower. Adding another berry, another seed bead, back through my berry, and back through those two beads. Next, I'm gonna add another berry right away, another seed bead, back down through my berry, and pull this tight so you make sure that it gets close to the other one because we want it to sit in that little group of three there. Add one more 11 after that last berry, and then sew up between those two 80 beads. And that should make those sit nice and even right at the top here of your little leaf. From here then, I want you to go around that split ring or jump ring one more time. So back into the design, back down through that center spine row, wherever it happens to pop out of there. You're gonna pop that out and simply tie a knot. So I'm gonna go around one of my pine needles with my needle, and see they wanna get in the way anyway, around the pine needle, right like that, through the loop that's looped around that needle, around that pine needle. Get it right near the base of it there, and simply tie a knot. Go down to the next one, pulling that knot in between the eight O's, and I'll skip down maybe three of the eight O's. Pulling that thread back a little bit. Once again, popping that thread out, going around the pine needle itself, creating that loop. Once that loop is created, sew through the loop, so there you can see it a little bit better. 
making that knot and pushing that knot along the beads. Nice tight pull, down a couple more beads, and then wherever it happens to pop one out, that's where I'm gonna go with my thread zap or my thread burner and burn down that extra thread flush along the project. If you're using a green thread, that's even better, or a brown thread, because then you won't see it at all. And then back to the bottom base here too, and do the same thing. And see how it's just a fun little package topper, and it's a fun little design, whether or not you're using it in the organic version where you go up to 10, and then start to go up from 10 for three of them, and then start to downgrade as well for the rest, or whether or not you keep going larger and make it more of that direct line. You can have a lot of fun with this and hopefully it gives you a ton of decor ideas. Thanks so much for joining me. I already have two little present toppers ready to go or little ornaments that are going to hang from the tree and give you lovely decor designs ideas. Hopefully this translates to a lot more ideas and a lot of simple gifts to give. If you need any materials to make any of your ideas, Go ahead and look below the video in the description. You can check out links to shop with us online. Guys, thanks so much for joining me and have fun enjoying the next video.